Hi everyone, welcome to today's session. As part of this session, we will be seeing few of the use cases related to select statement in HANA SQL. As you are aware, SQL stands for Structured Query Language, which is used to query the data which is present in a particular table of your database. In our case, SAP HANA would be our backend database. Most of these syntaxes will be common across all the RDBMS. Okay different types of databases. So, as the name indicates, select statement is used to pull the data from database table. Okay, and this comes under data definition language, DDL statement, it is also called as, okay. As using select statement, we are going to fetch the data from database. We are not going to alter any data, okay. It is just used to pull the data from database table and apply various conditions. There are different format which you can uh, combine uh, with the select statement to achieve a desired result as part of today's session we will see few of the use cases okay let's start the video screen so as i said select statement is used to pull the data from database table if you want to learn and become expert uh, in sql right you have to be good at asking a question for example how to display all the column of a particular table or how to display all the column values of a particular table. Assume that you have a table called customer master data table which is KNA1 or vendor master data LFA1 or it can be material master MARA or it can be any table for example EKKO and EKPO which will hold purchase order header information and item information. Assume that you might have replicated those table from ECC system to your HANA database through SLT or SDA approach. You wanted to see how many number of a record present in that table or in this use case we wanted to see all the column values of a particular table how can we see that so let us get into the system i'm just logging into my the database you have to log into your hana studio okay so upon logging in you will be able to see four different folder catalog provision content and security you will have all your schemas present in catalog folder. And again, what is a schema? Schema is something which will hold group of tables. Okay, in order to group the different database specific object, you will create a schema. Under schema, you can have an object. Okay, so assume that I am going to do analysis on the table present under a schema called HANA. So, and under HANA schema, you can see there are different types of object can present column view and uh, indexes procedure sequences tables and uh, etc so let us expand table and under table you will be able to see different schemas uh, sorry the tables right so now you can see assume that you have a table called k one table which is customer master data all you can do you can scroll all the way down and uh, search for the table okay and first thing is obviously you will be able to search for the table as you scroll down, you will be able to see LFA1, LFB1, okay, similarly KNA1, right click and do the data preview. If you want to see the content of a particular table, what you can do, you can do the right click on a table and do the data preview. If you have authorization to view the content, you will be able to see the data. What we are able to see now, we are able to see the data, all the column values of this particular table. Got it guys? So now, how can I achieve the same functionality through program okay so in order to do that first thing is you have to open an sql console or sql uh, window wherein you can input an sql statement in order to do that see over here there's an button in the toolbar called open sql console for uh, the selected schema so i have chosen a table under this particular schema right so if you click on that obviously my SQL console will point to this schema or else better way is what you can do all you can do is you can just place a cursor on your schema and click on SQL open console so that this particular console will point to which schema HANA schema okay so now I wanted to see the content of a particular table in my case uh, the KNA1 table select star from KNA1 ideally I have to give schema name followed by table name as a best practice, okay? Even this also works 
because this is pointing to ana schema but even if you are in different schema the console is pointing to different schema but you wanted to see the k name table content of uh, the ana schema then you have to give what table name followed by the schema name followed by the table name okay select star from k name on table what this statement will do is this is a basic sql statement it is going to bring all the columns star means what all the column from k name on table okay so now as i said earlier the best practice is you have to choose schema name followed by table name you can just drag and drop the table see schema name came followed by the table name the table name i am going to change it to k name 1 so now it is same as doing right click on your k name table and do the data preview got it is exactly same as that clear guys same way if you want to see different table content you can see lf a1 this table is already present under this schema that's the reason i am using select statement to view all the column value of lf a1 table got it guys but if you want to see a specific columns instead of star what we have to do we have to use a command called select field 1 field 2 field 3 you have to separate fields by comma for example lifnr land 1 and name 1 right let me go back i will come on to the first statement again copy paste this statement but in my case instead of select star what i will do lifnr followed by name 1 followed by name 2 okay you can run this statement you see lifnr name 1 and name 2 got it guys i am able to pull only specific column from the database table in order to pull specific column from a particular table what is the syntax you are supposed to use you have to use field 1 comma field 2 comma field 3 each of the fields which you are interested has to be specified separated by comma got it similarly if you want to see overall table count like what is the total number of records resides in a particular table that might be a general requirement right maybe you might be a basis consultant you might be a bw abap consultant or else you might be a bw anana consultant or you might be a native anana consultant if you want to see what is the total number of records present in a particular table in case of abap what you used to do you used to go to sc16 and enter the table name click on Uh, record count show record uh, total record count uh, it would have shown the total number of record but in hana level how can we do that we can use a simple sql statement uh, which is you already aware select star will give what all the columns from this table but there is an aggregated function called count of star okay count means what it will give it will give all the total number of rows present in lf lfa1 table of this schema so now if you run this what it will give it will give 2361 records are present in your lfa1 table of this schema similarly if you want to check kna1 table all you have to do the change the table name and run it you see 19629 records are been present in a k n1 tables of my ana schema got it guys as part of these two example what we found out is how can i see the total number of record present in any table and also we saw how to pull all the columns of a particular table we also saw how to pull a specific column from a database table also additionally see we are able to pull as part of this statement all the column from a particular table correct if you rerun this select statement and run this you see we are able to see the vendor corresponding to all the countries but you see de is there german is there us is there de is there mexico is there france is there but i wanted to see only those vendors uh, corresponding to us country key or de the german country key which is land 1 is equal to de so for that for the select statement we can add additional class called where class using which we can filter the data there are complex ways we can apply the filter as part of this session we will confine ourselves to apply a basic filter in our case show only those vendor which belongs to country key de which is nothing but land 1 is equal to de so 
here what you can specify you can specify where class where land one is equal to within single quotes you can specify us or de in our case okay what it is going to do it is going to pull star means all the column from lfa1 table of the schema where the this condition is matching which is that land one is equal to de you see we are able to see only those record which belongs to de got it guys if you want to change this to us all you have to do is land one is equal to us got it you see here so hopefully as part of this simple video you got to know what is the basic use of select statement there are different classes which can be associated with select statements such as having class group by class order by class all those things we will be seeing in future in a separate videos so if you like this video feel free to uh, hit the thumbs up button so that it will reach more and more uh, consultants also if you like this video do subscribe to my channel also, if you are looking for an online training on SAP ABAP, BW, BW ABAP and Native HANA and also HANA related SQL, you can always reach out to me on my mail ID that is venugopalmn1988 at the rate gmail.com. Also, you can reach out to me on my mobile number that is plus 91 followed by 973-998-3992. Thank you so much and have a good one guys.